Hello, everyone. Welcome to What Sold Saturday on Sunday. Yes. Bin pickers, we apologize. <laughs> You're not trying to we're come invading, for your territory. <laughs> we're invading their day. We're invading um, Michelle's space. <laughs> so, yes, it is Sunday. I'm sorry that we didn't have a video go up last night. Bad we, hotel Wi-Fi. We posted it to our stories on Instagram, but I know not everyone sees that. I should have made a YouTube post, but I forgot to. Sorry. But we were in Chicago. Well, close to. We were in a suburb. And we were in a hotel that had Wi-Fi that could not support uploading. So we could not make that no. there. And it was also bad lighting and stuff. With no. the bad Wi-Fi, we decided, why not just wait till Sunday? Just post it on Sunday. Yeah. So we have What's Old Saturday on Sunday for you. This was not the best week. You By know, any means. You have your ups and your downs. And this, well, for me, I think I did like not awful compared to what I'm usually used to. But I think Jack. For me, it list. kind of, for me, it capped off July. And July was steadily not good yeah. the whole time. It's very similar to the other weeks in July that I had. It was bad. But I did want to say, so I was kind of down in the dumps like two, three days ago mm -hmm. about how my sales were not that great. I can vouch for that. So. I use this perfectly. They didn't tell me to put this in here. I'm not, I'm not, this isn't this like sponsored. Is no. But I use my list perfectly. I posted 30 to 40 items to eBay, Mercari, and Tradesy. Yeah. I had a Tradesy sale. So there's one. I had three Mercari sales. Four. And an eBay sale. Five. In like two or three days. Look at that. So. If you are interested, it worked for me this week, and I'm definitely going to be cross-posting more in the next week I or know. so. That's I'm going to try to get thing. everything I over there. I need to get back into cross-posting. I feel like, because we did a ton of sourcing in July, mm -hmm. so I feel like I was trying to get all that caught up yeah. before I can, like, yes. you know. List so, perfectly. Side note, I will say, $29 a month plan. Yeah, just beautiful. use... Beautiful. If you are going to sign up... Just use the simple one. Use the cheapest the one. Simple, I think it's called the simple plan. And then if you're really, 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 really into it, or you have like a quadrillion things, maybe think about the business plan. Simple plan is literally all we that We use need. the simple one. I love it. And I just wanted to say the code flipped thrift, F-L-I-P-P-E-D-T-H-R-I-F-T, still works for, I believe it's 15 or 20% off. Okay. So I'm editing right now and I just checked and it's actually 30% off your first month. So even better than I thought. So yeah, if you're interested, Flip Thrift gets you 30% off. So but if you I get a discount on your first month, I'll put it in the description. If you wanna sign up, you can. I just wanted to let you guys know that it worked for me this week. You know I've been what? having bad posh weeks, so I'm excited to get some cross-posting done now that we're not focused on sourcing. It is a very okay. handy little tool. Done okay. with plugging that. Like I said, that was not sponsored. I just really wanted to say that because I'm not kidding. I made, I made five sales she in two really, days on other- They really do come in handy. Yes. Okay. So this covers the first through the seventh, and on the first, I had three sales. I had one. I'd like to say thank you to Michelle. She bought the beautiful red plaid Madewell coat that I had. I think it was our most recent I haul. saw a lot of people asking. I think just Ooh. just like four hours ago, someone Can commented on that video and asked about it. Oh, so. Michelle, you're a lucky lady. I feel I really bad. Go I, fast. I didn't have a box to ship it before we left, so I still haven't, but it's okay, Michelle. She's on the way. <laughs> I promise. I found a box. We found a situation. We're good. Um, so my <laughs> first one on the first was this new with tag gap black and white floral bikini bottom. This was just a bin find. Obviously, this cost me nickels. Like, this cost me nothing. And so I did get it, and it sold for $15, and I got $9.88. I think that even had a shipping discount, but hey, out of a couple nickels, you know I'll what? Take that. That's $9.88 more than you had before. Yeah. Then I sold this host pick new with tag Halston Heritage side drape shift dress in blue. I thought this was so, so cool and pretty. It was like a caped dress. Was this the almost? one with the white under it? Yes. Ooh, um, I've had this pretty. for a long time, but it was getting a lot of likes and someone offered me 40, even though I had a price like 80 or something, but I hadn't had many sales. So I yeah. took that. And who's, where are you wearing the formal dress to right now? I think so yeah. close. <laughs> and so I made 32. And then my last one on the first were these Jeffrey Campbell glitter jelly flats. And they sold for $20 and gave me 16. You know, I do love a good jelly flat. Yeah. I really do. Okay. So my first, this one kind of tripped me up a little bit because I was unaware. So if you haven't noticed, this is my little tip. If it says guest and then just a bunch of gibberish, that means somebody Googled your item and bought it from the Google recommended 
shopping. Where it says buyer. So like if you- That means they checked out yes. like- They as, checked out as a guest. Yes. So if it says, if you Google like Anthropology Blue Top and the first thing that pops up is a Poshmark listing and you don't have a Poshmark account, you, you have the just... option to buy it as a guest. So that's what happened to me. And then she made an account after she bought this top. So the usernames didn't match up. For anybody wondering, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> it was a new tag, intimately few people find me top, medium, large, super cute little v-neck off the shoulder top. So for $34, I made $27.20. Then on the second, I only had one sale. Me too. I think, think this went to a viewer. Her profile picture looked very familiar, but she didn't say anything about it. But her name's Patricia. So Patricia, Hi, if you're Patricia. watching. Patricia. Do you Thank you. Patricia Nash. Patricia Nash. <laughs> says, actually, I do. <laughs> So she coming. purchased, these are gonna be adorable together. These Ooh, Beyond Yoga so. Rose Floral Leggings. Those had so many lights. Those are so I was so excited to find cute. those. Were those a Vince find? No, I no, think they, they were, were super cheap at a consignment clearance. Yeah, I remember that. Then yeah. I also, or she also purchased this Adidas Originals Floral Gray Hoodie. If you don't remember, this is one I picked up and wanted to get for myself, but it did not fit because it was a very non-stretchy woman's medium. And so um, she, I gave her the deal of 65. And so she, so I earned 52. And she said that she loves them. So that's good. Good for you, Patricia. Okay, my only one on the second was this torrid black jersey knit tie romper. I bought this thinking it was a dress. Boy, was I pumped when I found out it was a romper. <laughs> uh, sold for $30, I made 24. Okay, and then on the third, I had two sales. I had six. Wow. I know, I was gonna say, the third and the fifth, she <laughs> came in handy. My first, sale was a bundle and it was three items and it was this pair of young fabulous and broke on the road tied flowy pants i think these were in the last haul as well is they it sold super quick buy young fabulous and broke mm -hmm. or is it just... yeah good to know look at all these tips and then i sold the spiritual gangster do all things rose tank that was also in the last oh, haul that was i knew that would sell quick my that. graphic spiritual one. gangsters do crazy good it's amazing and she got this wild fox black soft sweater I gave her the price of $100 with free shipping on all of those, and so I got $72.89. And it. then also, I sold some mystery boxes, actually. We don't report on our mystery boxes on One Sold Saturdays break even. because we're not making money. We literally no. break even or maybe just lose a little bit. So move things <laughs> along so that we can get new items and not feel bad about it. Yeah. Or we bought too much, so we need to move it out. It's so like that's when we what do those sales. Are for. Yeah. So I sold mm -hmm. like five of those. So if you purchased one, thank you very much. I kind of got bored. I feel bad. Whenever I, I do mystery boxes, I love doing these. I call them like busted boxes. It's like stuff that I have every intention of fixing. I just don't have the time. <laughs> and so I'm my other sense. normal sale on the third was this pink Victoria's Secret flower patch bikini top. Oh, that's Another bin's fine. Cost me a couple nickels. And the, and the rose stuff is cute. And it sold for $15 and gave me 12 So my first on the third, were these new tag ribcage straight salvage women's jeans. These are Levi's. I don't know why Levi's isn't in the title. Go back <laughs> and fix that. Good to know. Um, they sold for $68. I made $54.40. Then I sold these Free People high-waisted cropped flare jeans. A lot of jeans. I think people are kind of in that transition season between like not buying spring, summer, but not quite buying fall yet. Just buying some staples. Yeah, she's buying like new pair of pants for school. Yeah. Um, these sold for $30, I made 24. Then I sold this new tag barbore striped long sleeve polo. This was kind of like a rugby polo. It was really well made. Sold for 35, I made 28. Then I sold this new without tag anthro button front denim skirt. That was the Pilk on the letterpress. Pilk World and the letterpress. Hello, Excuse me for letterpress. turning that into one word. Uh, sold for 35, I made 28. And then this Sundance Boho Long Sleeve Sea Green Midi Dress sold for 23 and I made 1840. And then this went to Maggie. Maggie, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. She got this Anthropology Saturday Sunday Amy Twist Kimono Top sold for 30. I made 24. Okay. okay. On the fourth, I did not have any sales. I this had, is when panic mode kicked in. I had one, and it was a very good sale. <laughs> so I sold this new tag, Kate Spade Peacock Poplin. Full Plume was the name of the dress, size 14. Adorable. This is literally one of the only good resale things I've ever found at a Ross. Hmm. And I found this where we live, which is I not designer. No. And we live in very, like, Miss Me uh, Mossy Oak territory. Mm -hmm. This Kate Spade dress was not part of that, but mm -hmm. I loved it. Sold for $140 and I made $112. Okay. And then on the 5th, my panic continued because I only made one sale. 
I have four. So my sale was this pair of Nuitag Levi's Star Studded 721 Skinny Jeans. Mm, cute though. They sold for $40 and that gave me 32. My first one on the fifth was this Hobo International Glennis Vintage Tan shoulder bag. And this also sold to a viewer. Her Poshmark name is S-T-A-C-R-N. Thank you. Uh, so for $40, I made 32. Then I sold this American Eagle Cozy. C-O-S-Y, I really can't spell. <sighs> Inside Out Tide Crew Neck. This also sold to a, a lovely viewer. Her Poshmark name is Jumpin' Jory. Thank you. Um, sold for $20, the shipping discount. I made $13.88. Then I sold this Van Halen Cutoff White Muscle Tank Top. Sold for $14, I made $11.05. That was one of those like fun little 99 cent Play-Doh's Closet finds. Those little like band tees do good. Yeah. Um, and then I sold, this was a Ben's find. It was an Anthro Moth Camel Chanel turtleneck sweater camel and chanel look very similar when spelled out if you don't know so for 45 and i am a 36 okay and then on the sixth i had two sales <laughs> i'm done for the week <laughs> so i had none on the sixth and the seventh we were on vacation so what can you say very accurate. <laughs> so very my first this i believe went to a viewer and her name is janice Ooh. thank you janice also if we look like we're turning red it's because the air conditioning is turned off because it makes too much noise and during it's videos loud. so we're kind of over here and it's hot <laughs> and the ring lights on so and i'm in a big t-shirt i just it's... feel like we both look red <laughs> um okay she purchased this new tag kate spade heart print pajama set along with these coach nadia which is my cousin's name if nadia is watching hey nadia hey girl tassel leather moccasins together i sent her an offer of 80 dollars, and i made 64. then i sold this pair of bowden floral 7 8 length trousers mm, and they cute. sold for 32 dollars and gave me 23.48 so then on the seventh i had four sales finally picking up a little pace first up was this rebecca taylor blush pink silk blouse sold for 50 dollars and gave me 40. i love rebecca taylor she's so it cute. can sit for a little bit but it always ends up selling for good prices like mm -hmm. and it always sells like i don't know if i've had one that i've just ended up like consigning or something it always ends up selling i know i will say the older stuff yeah, no. Not worth it. The it gray still does tag. okay sometimes, but... Yeah, the gray tag. This is Rebecca Taylor. Yeah. It's your friend. Then I sold another bundle, and this was an Anthropology Diletta embroidered lace blouse. Lace blouse. This was so cute. Oh, that black one? Super pretty. It was like navy blue, yeah. And then I sold this new tag Free People Crochet Sleeve Thermal Blouse, and those sold in a bundle for $75 with discounted shipping, so I get $57.88. Then I sold this Anthropology Tiny Lace Trim Open mm -hmm. Cardigan for $30, and that gave me $24. Then I sold this Free People Tassel Wrist Crop Zip Jacket for $28, and that gave me $22.40, and that was my final sale for this week. Love it. Okay. Well, on Posh, at least. Then... My gross for the week was 590. So like I said, very on par with the last two weeks. Yeah, mine was 544, which like for me, isn't that bad. And for our inventory counts, that's really good for Ryan. That's really poor for me. I have 500 active listings now. I, I have like 850 that. or something. And I was like, I want to have 500 by the end of the summer. And I'm like, where did all this stuff come from? <laughs> Woo. And I got more coming. And then... <laughs> My nerd. This is gonna be the one. <laughs> What's 458.53? Mine was 4.33 and 9 pennies. 9, nine pence. <laughs> 9 pence. 9 pence, if you will. So. Not quite a shilling. For me, <laughs> still not that great of a week. I will say, since it's Sunday, I know how I did on Saturday. The 8th wasn't too bad. So. I'm really hoping I mean, that next week, <laughs> I'm really hoping that next week things pick up. I hope so. I'm going to keep cross posting. Me too. I'm it's hoping that's going to keep going as good at it as it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's all we can do is keep posting and cross posting and relisting just and with. sharing. So. Yes. Share your own stuff. Yes. Trying to put in that work. So let us know how you guys' week was. Have you seen an uplift? 
was it like mine where kind of throughout the week it's been trailing upwards? I think mine did the Let exact opposite. <laughs> we Yours started was patchy. great and then we did not good and then we did a little better and then we're just bad. Well, you again. were on vacation mode, so it makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. On a Tuesday, we were planning on doing a haul because yeah. we did go sourcing one day on our vacation and then yeah. we actually have some stuff from our own personal we closets. Out our closet. Yeah, Which that is we kind of just want to show you guys. Always super fun. For fun. And then on Thursday, I believe I will be doing a real, real episode update for the month of July. So mm -hmm. you don't want to miss that. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications with the little bell that's next to the subscription button. And yeah, comment and let us know how you guys did this week. And yes. we will see you on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Bye. Bye.